Hello, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna clean this nasty toaster. You can see it's got some grime on it, some, I don't know, toast stuff, remnants on it. The inside's pretty bad too. Um, and frankly, when we toast something, now there's some debris in there so it smokes and everything kind of tastes burnt. So it's kind of nasty. So, I'm gonna show you a trick to actually clean this up, get this nice and clean. And what we're gonna to use today is we're gonna use a lemon. We're gonna use salt. Of course, what fun would it be without white vinegar? Toothbrush and some paper towel. And the professional pro beauty tool known as a hairdryer. So everyone's got one in their house. So I'm gonna show you how to use these things and we're gonna get this sucker nice and cleaned up. So we're gonna start with the inside. We're gonna work our way to the out. So here we go. Step one, we're gonna use a toothbrush. We're gonna use both ends of the toothbrush for this. So mine's got a little kind of a pointy end on it. Obviously wait before you start, safety first. Make sure it's unplugged. You don't wanna electrocute yourself. And then what I like to use the pointed part of this toothbrush for is inside here, there's like a little ledge in here. And if you can actually get some of the crumbs and stuff loosened by just kind of scraping the inside of that with the edge of that toothbrush, you're gonna have to do that on all four, basically all four um, slices or where slices would go. So you have to do each side and you're just gonna scrape it a little bit. And it's just to get some of that, those crumbs and debris off there. You're not gonna get all of it, but heck, you're gonna get a lot of it to make it so it's not, so uh, the crumbs aren't really built up on there. Step two is you're gonna go on both sides and you're gonna try to clean the coils with your toothbrush. So the nice thing is the toothbrush is nice and soft, bristled, so you don't, want to br you don't want to brush too hard on it. But you're gonna go through and just clean all the sides and get the, get the coils nice and clean. Okay, next you're gonna pull out your little trays at the bottom. And obviously, you know, I'm doing it on my counter so you, can, you guys can see it, but I would do this by the sink if I was doing it by myself without showing you guys the video. And you can see how much is in there for ours. Maybe I should clean it more often. I don't know. But you're going to want to get these nice and clean and then I, these you can just take over the sink and rinse them off. So just get all the stuff out of them and then we'll go rinse those at the sink. Okay so those are pretty clean, right? They don't have to be perfect because they're going to get stuff on them again but they're pretty clean. So get that. Now I'm going to dump this over and just try to get all that. You can hear all that. You can hear all that. It's kind of nasty. And try to get and shake out as much as you can. Get those big crumbs out of there. You can see the big pieces coming out of ours. So I guess we make a lot of waffles. That's what uh, looks like a lot of getting a lot of our crumbs out. So you got to give it some pretty decent shakes and stuff of like that. But obviously, you know, be a little bit careful. Okay, so this we're going to use our hair dryer here. And we're just going to turn on low to start with. And we're going to blow as much of the crumbs and stuff out of there as we can. So what that did is it kind of blew out some of the stuff at the top and it blows it all at the bottom. So you can see like we're still getting more out of here because of that. So we blew as much as we could out of there. And it's, there's this little lip across the top that gets stuff stuck in it. And that's where a lot of things get uh, smoked. So that's what you want to really blow is across the top. And obviously get as many crumbs away from the area as you can so you don't blow it all over your floor. So that's really all we're going to do on the inside. And it's much, much cleaner on the inside. Now let's focus on the outside and kind of this grime and grease that you see on the outside. We have a lemon and we're going to pour some salt on it. The salt's going to act as an abrasive kind of a uh, little bit of abrasive but it's okay for this. So I'm going to put it on there pretty good and I did it over a bowl so I didn't get it everywhere. And you're going to basically want to go and put it on there very liberally and you're going to do the whole outside of this with this and you're going to probably have to get a little bit more salt on it at some point here but we're just going to start and try to get half done with what we have. And it smells great, which is fantastic. It doesn't like a good lemon clean smell. All right, so now you're gonna just kind of wipe it off the damp cloth. Get some of this off here. You're gonna have to probably rinse a few times just to get it to basically get all this the salt back off of it. So you're gonna have to kind of wipe it down really good. And you gotta get you gotta use a little bit of elbow grease to get in those cracks. Now obviously those cracks are gonna get a lot more 
salt in them, so you're gonna have to be pretty, use a little bit of elbow grease to kind of get in there. Okay, so the first wipe down I did with paper towel, right, and uh, just a damp paper towel, and that's probably, the, it's really good to do that, you can get a lot of the salt off it and things of like that, but then after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to use like a clean towel, right, it just kinda of has more grip to it, it allows you to kinda of get a little bit more of a, a finished kind of shine to it and things of like that for, for what you're doing. Plus, after you're done with that, you're gonna have, you want, you're gonna to wanna to put your trays back in, so we're gonna do that real quick. So we get those put right back in there, which is really good. Then, for the last thing, we're just gonna take a little bit of white vinegar and we're just gonna finish this up here and then we're gonna take a paper towel and wipe everything back down. So whatever you do, don't get frustrated with getting the, getting the salt off because uh, the salt is definitely gets, gets into a lot of things. And so it's gonna take you a little bit to get the salt off and you know get it out of all the little cracks and crevices and things like that. So do that and uh, once you get kind of get to there, you can see, we're getting to a much more finished and final product here. And then what we're gonna do is take a little bit of paper towel, just a little bit, and we're gonna dry everything down really good. So now that we kinda got the vinegar on there, that's kind of our last step there, we're just gonna dry everything down. Okay, so that's it. So you can see what a difference that makes in the whole thing, right? So much, much cleaner. It doesn't have that stickiness to it that you get in the kitchen when you're cooking around something. It takes all that stickiness off. You did it with white vinegar, which is a buck fifty for a big bottle like this. Um, regular salt, which is cheap as well. And basically a half of a lemon, uh, which is a dollar, and a toothbrush, right? So that's all you took to really get it cleaned up and it looks brand new. We got all the crumbs out of it. It's now safe again. Most importantly, it's safe again. You're not gonna get smoke and stuff out of it. Your food's gonna taste better in it. And when people come over, you have a nice finished looking beautiful toaster again. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our video and give us a thumbs up.